justification of law of conservation of energy so in this justification we will take an example suppose this is a ground here a ball is raised from here to here this height is total height is h we can take initial position is a this is the b and when the ball comes down to a certain height by a certain height x so we can take this position is c this height is h minus x so now first we will take total energy at b that we can take e1 is equal to kinetic plus potential both energy here c at b height is h so kinetic energy we can take zero because it is momentarily at rest plus mgh so the total energy is equal to e1 equal to mgh now see total energy at c so total energy at c is e2 is equal to again kinetic plus potential so c at e2 kinetic energy is half mv square plus potential energy mg h minus x because height from the ground is h minus x now we will have to calculate kinetic energy so first we have to calculate v see here the object is falling from b to c so we can write initial velocity is zero and final velocity we have to calculate so we can apply v square is equal to u square plus 2g h so we can write v square is equal to 0 plus 2g x so v square is equal to 2g x so we will replace this value of v square over here so we will get the total energy that is e2 so we can take this total energy over here we can write e2 is equal to half m into 2 g x plus m g h minus m g x so we get 2 2 will get cancelled we can take m g x plus m g h minus m g x this will get cancelled e 2 is equal to also m g h now similarly we can take total energy at a here we can write here e 3 is equal to kinetic plus potential so kinetic energy is half mv square plus 0 because height is 0 at a now what we can calculate again v so we can write v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h so u is equal to 0 so v square is equal to 2 g h so e 3 is equal to you can get half m into 2 g h this is e 3 is equal to m g h so now see e 1 over here e 2 over here and e 3 over here so e 1 e 2 and e 3 these are the total energies at the point b c and a respectively if you look at all these three equations you will find total energy remains same so here energy is getting converted into kinetic to potential potential to kinetic if the object is going up sorry uh, coming down so in that case energy conversion is taking place kinetic to potential potential to kinetic but the sum of the total energy at every time remains same so this you we can justify law of conservation of energy by using this but here we have taken just example of the gravitational potential energy